What a beautiful place we're staying this weekend in! In the spa town of Buxton, which is, according to some sources, the highest altitude market town in the country. Though that record is disputed by a town in the lakes, which is not so surprising to me because I can see a rivalry going on between the lakes and the peaks with the same kind of beautiful scenery and attractions that will bring people to visit here. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katarina George. I'm a writer and a vlogger and here I publish vlogs about lifestyle, about my Romanian heritage as well as about drum roll, traveling, because traveling is possible again now, at least in your own country. And there are so many beautiful things to see in the UK, in England, where I live. Now it is the very first time that I managed to visit Buxton, a very old spa town that was discovered, well, the town wasn't discovered, but the thermal waters here and the mineral waters here were discovered. No surprise by the Romans, the ones who just had a knack for finding such things around everywhere they went. I am visiting for the weekend with my partner Adrian and I will show you around all the old Victorian bits of this beautiful town. All of the architecture that's more like northern style with all these like stone buildings that I really, really, really love. And now after I really had the chance to visit this place. I don't even know if I like Bath, another resort town that's very famous, as much as I do Buxton. That is a little bit of a dilemma, but we will develop a little bit on that a little bit later after I show you a bit around all the Victorian attractions of this beautiful town. What are those very Victorian things around in Buxton to see or to do? Well, to start, the Opera House, of course. Then, of course, the gardens with the ponds here and the pavilion with the conservatory.
course, the Victorian Crescent. Being in an old Victorian resort makes me think of all our old Romanian resorts that most of them started to be built the same in the 19th century. And we are going to stop here in the Pudding Emporium, if I got it correctly, Adrian. He's nodding, I got it correctly. We're going to stop here for a little bit of a snack and tea. And I am going to write up my cards traditional postcards to send them to my parents like I used to do every time that I was going to our Romanian resorts back in my childhood. It's something so nice to do, so lovely to do, plus I get to post them in one of the old Victorian post boxes that still exist here in Boston. It is famous, I was told. This is it, the old Victorian post box and these two are going to Romania to my parents now which I haven't seen whom I haven't seen for two years but they're gonna get these traditional postcards from Buxton from me After we've spent a whole summer day here, now it is nearly time to go back to our accommodation and get ready for lovely dinner in the pub. Both Adrian and I agreed that now we like Buxton more than we do Bath and Buxton has become our favorite spa town in the UK. I still like Bath and I would like to go there again, but I think that Buxton now is higher up in my list of preferences and also places where I would like to go back to. And there are two main reasons for that. One is the fact that this town comes across as very friendly, um, very friendly, very natural, all of the history around here feels welcoming as well. We talked a lot to the lady in the visitor center, which is located in the pump room across from the Crescent that you can see just behind me. And she gave us so much information about everything that's going on in Buxton. The lady in um, uh, the Pudding Emporium, she was very, very friendly and nice as well. It just felt very natural to have a nice, friendly chat with her. I know I'm repeating myself a lot with friendly right now. Maybe you'll excuse me because I will be tired after roaming around for the whole day. Then the second reason is because Buxton is located here in the peaks and I never realized how many things you can do in the peaks from taking some, taking some cable cars for a really like high up experience um, 
at Abraham, Abraham Heights to Bakewell, another very scenic place to visit, a lot of like beautiful northern style architecture and lots of other places to visit for hiking, activities to do, history, uh, all the uh, spa places around the area and everything is really really close together. Also in Buxton there is a lot of stuff to do besides all of the Victorian um, uh, activities and, and uh, Victorian style places that I've already showed you in this vlog. There is a Buxton festival in July. Um, we discovered this amazing bookstore Scriveners. I bought a few books from there that has thousands and thousands of books. I haven't taken much footage from there but um, I was just too busy looking at books. So I think for me and Adrian these are enough reasons to really really love the city. Plus, and I'm gonna go now and get some water from there. Here in Buxton you can get some free mineral water by the pump room where the spring is just free to, 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 to take water like from the tap. I have not found that in Bath. If you know about something like that in Bath, let me know. But that is again very similar to all our old spa resorts in Romania where you find mineral springs all over the place. They are just, um, you know, set up for the members of the public to just fill up on their bottles, which is what I will do right now because I'm tired and thirsty. Buxton Victorian experience without an afternoon tea for two, dressed up all for the occasion, corset and everything. That is what we're going to do now, Adrian and I, on Sunday, our last day in Buxton, for this holiday. We're going to enjoy this. It is an afternoon tea for two that we booked at number six cafe, very close to the opera here. It's a very beautiful place with all vintage decor and everything. So you get that special feeling that we are after, like the Victorians, like everything vintage and nostalgic and pretty like that. So we're going to eat this and then I'm going to be back to you so we can wrap up this vlog nicely. Adrian and I have just finished our afternoon tea for two. It was absolutely delicious. All of the cakes. Oh my god. If you do come here for this experience and you share tea afternoon tea for two, make sure that you get to have some of the tart because the tart, the almond tart was, oh, just blew my foodie brains away. <laughs> This place is so beautiful. This is the room upstairs on the first floor of this number six cafe across from the Opera House in Buxton and across from the Victorian Gardens, which I can see from where I'm filming right now. There's nobody else here, so I just put my mask away for two minutes so I can wrap up this vlog nicely for you. If you enjoyed watching it, please remember to give me a thumbs up because that way YouTube will promote my content so more people get to watch it. And maybe they get inspired as well to visit places such as Buxton. It has certainly become one of my favorites for all the Victorian history and beauty, but also for how friendly the people are just as I mentioned a little bit earlier. Now the hotel next to the number six cafe, I will write the name down here for you as well, is the place where um, Queen Mary of the Scots was staying as her accommodation when she visited here in the 16th 16th century she came here to treat her rheumatism. <laughs> so much history around in Buxton. But saying that I am going to now wrap up our vlog for today. 
again hoping that if you enjoyed it you will give me a thumbs up for it also if you are new to my channel remember to subscribe to this channel until next time then ciao for now i am going to just uh, relax a little bit more here and take a few selfies for my instagram as well which i will link up there for you as well.